They say that the man Syed Boran is indeed a very fine speaker of note, but uses a lot of Sanai's poetry in many of his speeches. The Syed says, what they say is the same as saying that the sun in the sky is good, but this has its own flaws. They say repeating Sanai's wise words is revealing his words. And his words shed light on things like the sun does daily. And it's in the light of the sun that you can see all flaws. The purpose of the great white light coming from the sun is that it reveals all things. I will give these to a good child who will tell me a great story and find the maxim in it. What happened? Don't you want almonds or don't you have a story to tell? I'm not such a small child to tell you a story. You are not a child, you say? Then what are you? I am a young Baha'i-Din who will soon become the Sultan of Scholars. Is that so? So you want to like Baha'i-Din, I see? The Sultan of Scholars of Khorasan. Very well. These almonds will then belong to anyone who can tell a great story like the Sultan of Scholars and find a maxim within the story itself. Do you want me to tell you the story of a parrot? What happened to that parrot you speak of? A man bought a parrot from a shopkeeper in the market. He then took the bird home, but the parrot was sick. I mean, it wasn't really sick. Mm -hmm. It pretended to be until the buyer brought back the parrot to the shopkeeper. Silent. Take your swords out now, men. Don't leave a single one of them alive here. If any of them try to escape now, stop them and kill their horses too. Kill them! Of 
of being safe in a single person's life does not necessarily come with particular signs. When a person is confronted with fear, one gives away his possessions, another gives away his life. One of them fasts, another one prays. One gives ten rukats, another a hundred rukats. So it is actually quite easy to distinguish them at certain times. They can easily be pointed out. <laughs> 